If you are a beginner and you really want to start to learn calisthenic skill, in this video I'm going to show you the really proper routine that you can actually start. And for this video we have a special guest, it's Andre Strong, the really king of calisthenics. He's going to help us to learn the calisthenic skill today. Top 5 skill for beginner. Straight legs, that's it. How to learn? First step, just raise your knee to the 90 degree and down. Up, down. The next step, straight leg raise to the 90 degree, one by one. Then when you can do around 10 reps, you can do both legs together. The next step, bending legs, L-sit hold. If you can do around 10, 15 seconds then, try to straight and hold. Bending elbow planche. Easy one. The first step you need to put in the right way right here. So we put our elbow completely on the middle. Always breathe up. It's the same way on the floor. Then you put elbows completely by side of the abs and make this breathe like this. It's same. If you stay like this, you need to breathe and then you'll be able to hold really straight line of this trick. If you feel you don't have enough strength, then I recommend to do the push-up to increase your push power, to prepare your shoulders, to prepare your back, triceps and also the core muscle. Keep your back all the way straight. The third skill, what I recommend to do is back lever. First step, just try to do the tuck back lever position. Hold for around 10-15 seconds. Then open to the advanced hold 10-15 seconds. The next step up to the vertical legs straight, squeeze your glutes and very slowly down to the tuck back lever. Press up, open and again down, 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 down to the tuck, press up, open and keep going. After this if you feel you have enough strength I recommend to do the negative races. So how to do? Up to the vertical, straight legs and then very slowly, as slow as you can, down, 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 all the way down and again, up and again, very slowly, it's very important, 5-10 seconds. The fourth skill, head stand. The starting position, put your hands a little bit wider than your shoulder size, then check the triangle, put your head on this corner like that now move your legs to the close position from here press your hip up push with the arm it's very important to the tuck and from here slowly open your legs up flexing and hold try to be half weight on the hands half weight on the head and then press to the handstand very easy <laughs> The final skill is just the handstand. I'm going to show you the straight line and then I'm going to show you how to learn. Simple exercise with a wall assistant, you can actually achieve the handstand. So we put the leg completely on the wall, we turn by side, we put our arm and we slowly go into the handstand with the one leg like, like this. And if you feel that you stay comfortable, try to change the leg like this. It's going to help you to stabilize a little bit so and the next step if you want to achieve handstand fast try to go as close as possible to the wall as close as possible it's more harder but if you can achieve it's really good skill so top five exercise to build muscle for those people who never try calisthenics for the completely beginner completely beginners they want to start calisthenics so they want to build muscles the first really simple exercise okay. the first and most important exercise is push-up but people who can do the push-up i recommend to start with the kneeling push-up right so the starting position stand on the knee legs up okay keep your back straight and then slowly down chest to the floor and up slowly down up if you can do at least 10 15 reps then you can move to the next step how do you do you do negative push-up with a straight leg, slowly down, 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 then stand on the knee and push back again. Straight, down, knee, up. And finally, when your muscle will get stronger, you can do the straight one. 
So, slowly. Down, up. Down, up. So, the second one. The second exercise, I would recommend to do the pull up, to increase the pull power for the back lever, front lever, for the muscle up. This is the most important exercise. Okay, let's turn to the bar. Yeah. I recommend to start with a resistant band. Athletes who don't have a resistant band, I recommend to invest 10, 20 bucks and buy. Yeah, so, okay. And now slowly up, keep your back straight, slowly up, chin over bar, and slowly down. Lock elbow at the bottom position, and again up, keep your body straight, and down. Do at least 8, 12 reps. Then when it's easy for you to do with the strong one, take softer band and do again 8, 12, and like this you can progress step by step. And finally, you will able to do without the band. The third exercise, the dip on the parallel bar. First start with the resistant band, grab like that. Slowly down to the 90 degree, move your shoulders forward a little bit. Yeah, and press up. Lock the elbow at the top, great. Slowly down, yes, and press up. Don't lose your shoulders, push your trapeze okay. up. Yes, great. Down, 90 degree, and up. Great, if you can do at least 15 reps, then you can start without resistant band. Okay, now without resistant band, yes. Let's go. And up, don't move too much forward. Okay. Yeah. Down, great. This is a perfect exercise to increase your tricep strength, front delt and pecs. So depends which angle will you move. If you will move more forward and make open the chest, you will increase more the chest. Now go more to the triceps. The fourth exercise for abdominal muscle and core muscle. My favorite one is leg raise to the bar. Knees raise to the 90 degree up and down. Yes, up, down. Then next step, if your arms get stronger, do knees to the chest. More up, yes, and down. Up, yes, great. Now straight legs to the 90 degree. Good, and down without hold. Just up and down. Up and down. Now bending legs all the way up to the bar. All the way up to the bar. Go all the way up. Yes, and down. Again, up and down. Great. And the last one, this who have already the strong ups. The straight legs up to the bar. Let's go. Straight. Great. Perfect one. This is a perfect technique. Nice. And the last fifth exercise is the plank static position to increase your core muscle, shoulders. Actually, everything, every yeah, part of muscle. All body. So, down first for the beginner is okay, elbow plank. Like elbow plank. Okay. Straight, yes. Keep your back straight, don't lose abs flex. Then, straight arm plank, advanced plank, so you move as maximum as you can. 